gave you the introduction. I think you all remember that. I told you about uh, why is history important. And from NATA point of view, why is it important? From NATA and JE point of view, what type of questions are asked? So we saw that uh, we look into history ranging from around uh, approximately 3000 BCE before common era to this, this 2021 common era. So we look into the history of architecture from around 3000 BC, that is where uh, ancient Egyptian and Mesopotamian buildings were constructed uh, till around Renaissance, that is around 1500, 1600 common era. Till that, this is the time period which we are referring to when we study history of architecture. After 16th and 17th century, uh, or say 17th and 18th century. After that, you have modern architecture coming into picture. Uh, we'll look into the, uh, some important buildings of this era too, when we study the topic of important buildings of the world, important buildings. Uh, but uh, the important buildings of this historical era is something which we will cover under the topic of history of architecture. So in these lectures of history of architecture, Along with the, so make a proper running notes. I already told you that yesterday, each and every point which I write onto the board, which I explain in the class, uh, try to make a running notes of it. It will be very beneficial for you to revise before the exam. Uh, it is not difficult at all. It's like a story. It's very simple. There are very few points. Just remember those important points. That is something which you have to uh, focus on. So focus on uh, the timeline that is important. Because I told you, you get questions based on timeline, which building is very old, which of, which of the following buildings is the oldest. You get such questions. So you focus on the timeline. We'll look into all the uh, civilizations based on the timeline. We'll start with the oldest civilization and then towards the newer civilization. So understanding the timeline is important. Secondly, uh, understanding the timeline of the civilizations is important. What are the various civilizations? Mesopotamian, Egyptian. You have to remember them in a timeline. Secondly, you have to import, uh, you have to remember the important buildings of each and every civilization. Some important buildings or structures constructed in each and every civilization. You also have to have a brief idea about the civilization, then a general idea, general idea on the architectural style, on the architectural style, as in what type of construction materials were used in that civilization very briefly, but you have to remember such points. So general idea on the architectural style in terms of material, in terms of design elements, what type of design is used in that era, in that civilization, you have to have a brief idea on that also. Uh, now also remember the geography of it. Uh, where are these important buildings located? You get questions based on the location. So location or important cities in each and every civilization, you also should remember that. So these are some important points which you have to focus on. When I explain, I will also write down such important points on each and every slide. So make a proper note. I'll, uh, so I'll make a note in the same order in which we are discussing the points. That said, let us start with a brief on the ancient river valley civilizations. The, I think we were, I just started about this ancient river valley civilizations. That's when we had to discontinue the last class. So in continuation to what I already said, I told you that there are four ancient river valley civilizations. I explained to you the backdrop as to why river valley civilizations have become important. I told you that civilizations are those settlements where human beings are located in one city instead of roaming from place to place. Instead of doing hunter gatherers, they have moved towards agriculture, and we saw that for agriculture, fertile lands and water is something which is very important. Fertile lands and rivers are uh, water are always available along the river valleys. What is a river valley? If you have a river, the surrounding land area surrounding it that is called as river valley. Now, river valley is, is both fertile. River valleys are fertile because the soil which you have along the rivers is very nutrient rich. So the soil is fertile and you also have availability of fresh water because of which agriculture will be possible. So that is the reason we saw that all the ancient civilizations are located always around along the rivers. Of those famous civilizations, I told you there are four very ancient and famous civilizations. I told you to remember the civilizations and which river they existed along 
I just started with the notes of it. First point I told you is Yellow River Civilization. Can you recall which which look where is it located? Which country is it located in in present day time? Yellow River Civilization. Where is this located? China. Exactly correct. Yellow River Civilization of China. This question was asked in NATA exam. So you have to remember these four ancient civilizations and where they are located. Yellow River Civilization, as the name suggests, this civilization flourished along Yellow River itself. You have to remember the names of the rivers, it's rivers also. Yellow River Civilization of China, that is number one. Number two is the Mesopotamian Civilizations, Mesopotamian Civilizations. Mesopotamian civilizations, exactly, Suhan is correct. Uh, the, these civilizations are located along the Iran and Iraq region of the present day time. They, uh, no, as I told you, we, do, we write this as civilizations with an S because this is not a single civilization. There were multiple, around four or five civilizations come under this Mesopotamian civilizations group. So this is a group of civilizations which flourished in the present day Iran and Iraq region. That is the Persian Gulf. Uh, so this is the Arabian Peninsula or also this is the Persian Gulf. So just above the Persian Gulf, that's where uh, Mesopotamian civilizations flourished. Uh, just on the northeast part of the Arabian Peninsula. You can look into the world map here. You see this is Persian Gulf. Just above Persian Gulf, you have that yellow shaded portion. That is Mesopotamian civilization. It flourished along the Iran and Iraq boundaries, that region of the present day time. Now, if this is not a single civilization, if this is a group of four or five civilizations, why are we clubbing them under Mesopotamian civilization? We are doing that because all these civilizations existed along the same rivers. Now, we saw that we are looking into river valley civilization. River is always important. So try to not only remember where is it geographically located, but you also do, you also should remember the river. In the first one is the name of the civilization itself. We have the name of the river. So there's nothing to remember separately. But Mesopotamian civilizations will look into this in detail. But there are two rivers in this civilization. These civilizations existed along two rivers. And you have to remember the names of those rivers. These are river Euphrates and river Tigris. These are the two rivers along which Mesopotamian civilizations flourished. You can see in this map, this is river Euphrates. This is river Tigris. Just between these rivers and surrounding these rivers, this is the region where Mesopotamian civilizations flourished. So Mesopotamian civilization was based on the two river system, river Euphrates and river Tigris. Moving further to number three, it is ancient Egypt, Egyptian civilization. Ancient, ancient Egyptian civilization. As the name suggests, it was located or it, it is something which flourished in the present day Egypt, Egyptian civilization. Can anyone tell me what, what is the river along which this was present? Any idea, anyone? What is that river along which these uh, uh, Egyptian civilization flourished? What is the name of the river along which ancient Egypt pyramids and all were constructed? You can see here, this is ancient Egypt on the northeast part of Africa. What river is this? I, you can read the name of the river. It is River Nile. Nile is the longest river. Uh, in Africa, this is River Nile. You have to remember the name of the rivers I told you. Egyptian civilization flourished along the delta of Nile River and also the Nile, uh, the, the river valleys of River Nile. Coming to the fourth one, we have Indus Valley Civilization. In short, it is called as IBC. IBC is Indus Valley Civilization. which is in present-day India and Pakistan. 
and mainly in the Punjab portion, that is where you do have some industry IVC cities in Rajasthan too, in Haryana too. But mostly it was along the Punjab of both Pakistan Punjab and also India's Punjab. Uh, so it is in that particular region where you have Indus Valley civilization which flourished. Uh, can anyone uh, tell me the name of the river of Indus Valley civilization? Along which river was Indus Valley civilization present? Present, present day India and Pakistan. This was along River Indus. River Indus has five tributaries. Uh, you might have studied in your social studies in your childhood and all. Uh, Ravi, Satlaj, Bias, and all. So there are five tributaries for River Indus. So all those five tributaries and along the River Indus, that's where this Indus Valley civilization existed. So the four ancient river valley civilizations, which you can see on this map also are number one in this yellow shape, that is yellow river civilization of China, that is number one. Number two is Mesopotamian civilization of present day Iran and Iraq. The rivers which were present in this civilization are river Euphrates and river Tigris, that is number two. Number three is ancient Egyptian civilization which flourished in the country of Egypt. And this was present along river Nile. Remember the name of the rivers, river Nile. And number four is Indus Valley civilization. As the name suggests, it existed along the valley of the river Indus, which has five tributaries. I hope you know what are tributaries. Tributaries are those branches of a river. If you have a river system, the, the river will have multiple branches. So those are called as tributaries, Indus and its five tributaries. That's where you have uh, this Indus Valley civilization. So that's a note on the four ancient river valley civilizations. Remember these four civilizations, which are important for history. Now, why are these important? Because from the known history, from the documented history, these are the four oldest civilizations which are known to mankind. There are, there are no other cities which we as human beings know. Yeah, there are some traces of other settlements, but not such large uh, cities. There are some European remains and all which are still found, like you have Stonehenge. There are many structures, ancient structures found, but there are no traces of large scale civilizations. Civilizations are a group of large cities and all. So you see such city network and all, only these four locations, that is, Yellow River Civilization of China, Indus Valley Civilization of India and Pakistan, uh, Mesopotamian Civilization, which is in the port, which is around Iran in today's time, and uh, you have Nile River Civilization, which is in Egypt, also called as Egyptian Civilization. Um, now, uh, we will study about Indus Valley Civilization later on in the next class of history. Uh, we will study about this Indus Valley Civilization. As far as Nata and Jay is considered, we will not study about Yellow River Civilization. There is no, uh, there are no questions related to Yellow River Civilization and their architecture as such in Nata and Jay. So that is not in the syllabus. Not only now, then in the future when you do your VR bachelor's in architecture, even in your colleges, you're not taught Yellow River Civilization at all in your history classes. We'll mainly focus on the Indus Valley Civilization in the next class. In this class, which is about Western history of architecture, will study about Mesopotamian and Egyptian. We'll mainly focus on the Western history of architecture. West is towards the west of India, right? So look into the Western history of architecture in today's class. We'll study about India and Indian subcontinent in the second class of HOA. There are two classes for history of architecture. And first class today, that will focus on the remaining part of the world. Uh, that is Western history of architecture. And tomorrow we will study about, in, uh, tomorrow or the next class over, history ga, we'll study about the Indian history of architecture in that class. So this class is all about, so this will be around a two, two and a half hour class. We'll study all the important points of history, history of architecture. We'll also solve some questions, previous NATA and JE questions too, uh, in this class. So let us first try to understand about the overview. What are the topics we'll cover under Western history of architecture? Now, this is where the timeline comes into picture. I told you timeline is important. It is not important for you to by heart the year. 
in which year may civilization high that is not important but what 